Google has yet to roll out widespread fiber internet to Austin houses, but it was the first company to announce its plan to bring faster speeds to Texas. Now KXAN investigator Kevin Schwaller looks into why some communities will have to wait a little longer. As you may have heard, sign for Google Fiber. Rick Kent is getting ready for faster internet. The truth is, we still have a lot of work. But after Rick signed up for Google Fiber, the company sent an email letting him know the ultra-fast internet won't be getting here so fast. It notes installations start in the Blue Bonnet community this summer. Then... And we think it will take us about three months to install most of our customers and your fiberhood. Additional suggestions that would be interesting to people. We went to a place that already has a Google Fiber connection, the Google Fiber space downtown. So far, most of our installs are in apartments. We'll be rolling out. Uh, we sent an email out to the initial signups in the Blue Bonnet and Lady Bird Lake fiber hoods just last week announcing the timelines for when they'll start getting installed. The head of Google Fiber Austin, Mark Strama, showed us the map of crew's progress. The gray shows the areas of Austin still without. The Lady Bird Lake and Blue Bonnet communities are under construction and the others in blue can sign up now. But even if your community signs up like Rick did, it could be months before you get the service. Unlike the services you may be used to, we're actually building the network to you after you sign up. There are some people that are chomping at the bit and there a lot of emails are going back and forth about it's taking too long or I wish it was sooner. Rick's okay waiting, but for others, the fast internet can't get here fast enough. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN, investigates. AT&T and Grande were the first companies to launch the gigabit service in Austin. Time Warner Cable also increased speeds. Google would not say how many homes it's connected so far, but you can see Google's progress in some neighborhoods. That's on our website, kxan.com.